Today I'm going to show how to install Bluetooth on a BMW Reverse RDS and a BP6262 radio. First off, you want to remove the stereo from the car by pulling these pieces off the side. And then using a small screwdriver, uh, just put it into each hole and wiggle out each side. Once the radio comes out, just pull it out and then disconnect the wiring harness uh, from the radio. I don't think this, this is the one that came with my car, so I had to make my own wiring harness to get this radio to work, but that shouldn't make a difference to the Bluetooth install. So now this is disconnected. You can take it inside and I'll show you how you fit the Bluetooth chip. Okay, so for this install, we're going to need the T20 Allen wrench and just pull off the mounting brackets for the front panel of the radio. And then wiggle the front panel off. Once got this removed, you can pop the top panel off by just pulling it or get a flathead screwdriver. Just pry up the sides. Once got that top panel removed, need a T9 uh, Torx bit and driver to remove the cassette layer. And a T8. <clears throat> and then we've got two um, two plugs you need to remove. One down the side here, and then one over here as well. You can see this one's already removed from the install. And this other one here, you just get a flathead screwdriver and just pop the tab to the side as you pull up. And then tape those should just lift out. Here you can see the main board of the radio. <clears throat> and this here is the Bluetooth chip I installed. This chip can take um, 5 to 35 volts, so you don't need to worry about putting a transformer in it, it's already all done on here. So for the install, this chip comes with um, a wire that does the left, right and ground for the audio signal and what I've done is run it through this hole here on the board and then looking on the other side if you bring this piece off as well
and I'll include close-ups of where you want to solder everything. <clears throat> Down here you can see where the wire has come through from the um, Bluetooth chip. We soldered here uh, left, right, and then ground over here. And then we've got another wire here that connects ground to this pin over here. And then this wire here does the power for the Bluetooth chip. And then this wire here does the ground for the Bluetooth chip. <clears throat> I've just run those through various holes in the actual board. And then once we have the chip, <clears throat> we can connect our uh, live and ground to it. We then take the other end of the audio connector, plug that into here on the Bluetooth board. And then the assembly is the opposite of the disassembly. 